absolutely adored working with ladies on stage. You can see the relationship with Margaret. There was a love relationship there. This comes through um, to the public that the fact, all right, so is sexuality uh, is neither important one way or the other, but the fact that it comes through, it makes him lovable both to the masculine side of the audience as well as the lady side. He had the best of both worlds. He loved his women as perhaps as he loved his men on stage and off. As the stage lover of the Royal Ballet's Margot Fontaine, nearly 20 years his senior, Nureyev displayed an almost painful tenderness. From those who knew him, Nureyev never concealed his homosexuality, but it was his partnership with Fontaine and the intriguing questions it raised concerning their offstage relationship which captured the public imagination. Anytime Fontaine appeared in New York, it was either a state occasion or perceived as a state occasion. Not only because of her own social standing, but, but her, her greatness and prestige as an artist. Especially in the role of Aurora, she was literally perceived by Americans as being a surrogate for the Queen of England. Her prestige was absolutely unassailable. She was one of the few ballet dancers, if not the only ballet dancer, whose name alone could sell out the Metropolitan Opera House. So for her to have chosen to dance with Rudolph gave him an extra edge of respectability and seriousness because she was not thought by anyone to be a reckless woman, even though she was arrested for gun running in Panama.